Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yinka, you can call me YK or you can call me this construction outside. No, <laughs> you can't call me that. Um, that was weird. Um, you can call me YK or you can call me nothing at all. There's still construction outside, that's great. Just, just let them, just let them go. Okay, <laughs> um, and anxiety has been ruining your girl's 20s. If you can already tell that I'm an anxious girl, I'm gonna show you a little something something. But um, essentially, I'm using YouTube as like a digital diary to kind of force me to leave the house because if I'm out, then I can like pull out a camera. But if I'm indoors, I mean, I could still do that because that's clearly what I'm doing right now. But I don't want to get into the habit of only doing it indoors. And I think that's the best way to force myself to go out because if I don't force myself to, I won't. I won't do it. I won't do it. And I will just lock myself in here like I'm Rapunzel, except I don't have Rapunzel hair. That's a joke. Anyway, um, <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. And um, yeah, let's, let's get into it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Teddy. We've had this discussion many times. It is only when you truly let go, that's when you can truly let love in. Clearly, you can see that I uh, have patience. This is very rude, and you're breaking some type of confidentiality. Should I get security? Secure? Oh, okay, there goes my client. Hey, I will call you tomorrow to reschedule an appointment. So how can I help you? I'm here because I'm anxious, and... Okay. Well, first things first, I need you to know that I charge $500 per session. You take Cash App? I don't take, take uh, no. EBT? I don't take Groupons either. Um, I also don't take EBT. Coupon? I do take checks though. Okay. Well, I got a check. You just, just make sure you don't cash it until two months from now because, you know, I ain't got it like that. I, 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 I won't cash it until. You said two two months. Okay. Um, so you're feeling anxious. All right. Can you tell me? Can you tell me a little bit more about that. I feel like my anxiety is ruining my twenties, and it's hard for me to connect with people. So like my days are very routine. They're very mundane. I wake up, go to work, come back, rinse and repeat five days a week, barred. Um, and it's just there's like there's no in between and i don't know i think there's just something wrong with me i don't know like growing up essentially like i just my work life and my school life was very similar very the same go to school come back rinse and repeat five days a week again bars but um it's just i don't know and as an adult i don't know how to not make friends per se like i've just moved so it's going to be hard to make friends regardless even if i you know whatever but i it's just been so hard and it's been so difficult yeah it sounds to me for my professional opinion you need medications first of all but before we before we get you all met it up um it sounds a lot like you've had a varying amount of life changing Occasions that, I could, occasions that I could speak to. Um, first of all, you moved here when you were 12, right? Okay, so if I'm backtracking, when you're a kid, you're a family, that was your community. That's who you saw every day, and that's who you were able to communicate with and interact with every single day. And then once you started going to school, your friends are who you started to communicate. Those people become your community, and then you move here to America, and from what I can tell, high school is about the same, where you then made friends in high school and then progressed on to college. And what I can tell is in your adulthood, you're having a bit of a struggle making friends, especially with a big life-changing move. Now, I wouldn't say anxiety is ruining your 20s. I mean, so far it is. I, I mean, come on, <laughs> get out, get out of your house. Just, just leave, take a walk. Take a walk, say hi to a stranger. It's not gonna hurt unless the stranger is crazy and then they yell at you. But if they're not, if you're completely sane and you say hello, 
So the most rational thing they will do is say hello right back. You don't have to make a full-blown conversation. Literally, you don't have to do that. All you just have to do is literally leave the house, go outside, say hello to one person, one human being who is not your friend, well, you have none. But that's besides the point, you know? It's okay that you don't have friends. It's not. But it's okay. It's not. But it's okay. It's really not. However, leave the house, go outside, say hello to a few strangers. You don't have to make conversation with them because, you know, that's, that's, another, that's another story for another day. However, you don't have to stay in the house and ruminate on your, your own thoughts because uh, you really should not be co-signing your own thoughts. It's really dangerous. So, in the meantime, just go outside, live your life, live some version of it at the very least. Don't stay indoors because, I mean, first of all, you need sunlight, but also, it's not good for you. Maybe I'll just lock myself in and just never leave, because if I never leave the house, nothing bad will ever happen. If nothing bad ever happens, equals a happy life. By that logic, I think I'm smart, and I don't think I need therapy anymore. Essentially, your entire life, you've been jaded. And to your parents' credit, they were trying to protect you by making sure that they kept you home all the time. However, as humans, that is not how we develop. That is not how we grow. We need to be outside. We need to be in a community, making friends, making interactions with other humans who are not our family. So you have no tools. You have no means of making friends, and I hate to say this, my dear, but you This is where she had me messed up. Hey, Alpha, have you seen my patient? Beyonce? <laughs> um... Hey, Doc, I had the strangest dream. It wasn't a dream. Oh, no. Not again. I love it.